Chicago Fire Season 12 Episode 4 Review, The Little Things, There Isn't Much to Work With Here, So We'll Just Have a Good Time Chatting About Chicago Fire Season 12 Episode 4, Why Else Would The Hour Be Titled The Little Things If It Wasn't Going To Go The Day In A Life Route, With A Close Knit Firehouse And Multiple Calls, Even The Little Things Can Add Up To A Lot He'd Be Higher On The List Than Cap Or Tony, Even If Tony Did Help Her With The Very Cool Fire Effect She Used On The Invitations. When you think of a small, intimate wedding with this group, you imagine every one of the people they work with and maybe a couple of outsiders. That's not exactly how it worked out, but it's close enough. Everyone knew they dated, right? Cap and Tony had to be pulling his leg when they acted like it was news to them. There's something special about being an ex, especially if you're still in each other's lives. Oddly put, it's a bit of an ego boost to think that your presence at an ex's wedding might make everyone uncomfortable. It couldn't have been anything else. Brett's feelings toward Cruz were evident when each time she was called away, she put Julia in his arms. That's a level of trust you can't create overnight. But who would have thought Cap would be the wise one, wondering aloud what we were thinking at home? Why don't you just ask her? Of course, it was an honest mistake, and he was definitely invited, but it was cute to see Cruz wrestling with someone amusing again rather than on a large scale as he did with Severide and the lieutenant's position. Walking out the door while appreciating the paper effect on the invitation gave him the warm fuzzy feeling of being loved and included. What more could you ask to come of your impending wedding? Bowden is such a good man, and he immediately chalked Shonda's issue up to his lack of involvement in their lives. It was even worse when he discovered she was actually guilty of trying to fence fentanyl. The idea of drowning in debt is easy for many to understand, but thinking that playing fast and loose with your freedom is not. No matter how much debt I've been in, Crime has never seemed like an option to solve it, but we're not all the same, and if you see others in your life getting away with crimes and not paying the price, it might seem like an easy solution. The hardest part for Bowden was carrying the burden of not being there enough for James after his marriage to Shonda ended. Kids from broken families go through so much, and getting close to and counting on adults in your parents' life is a prime example of the levels of hurt that can come their way. Even if you're old enough to know rationally that the separation had nothing to do with you, that's a profound loss that's hard to shake. 